Uh, so, intro type two. Second time doing this commentary. Well, actually, I didn't make it too far in the last one. I, I actually made it to an impressive ten seconds. Final, you know, it was, it was brilliant. I'm so good, they spawned right behind him. I just told the present. Fucking beast am I. Anyways, you know, just just like the video now. Because you won't, you won't have time later, so you can do it now. If you like it now, I'll give you a cookie for every like you do. You know, I'll even... There'll be double stuffed Oreos. If you don't like Oreos, that's fine with me. Sometimes they can be revolting and taste like utter shit. But that's that's not that bad. So anyways, this is an M8A1. This guy is so fucking OP. And it's so easy to use. Double nuclear on Meltdown. Now we've seen a lot of this Plague map. It's terrible. I played it on Search and Destroy and League. All the... I don't understand this this game. This this map is just not meant for competitive. Even with if you got rid of the pillars right where he is now, this map would be a little bit more improved. But in, until they do, which they won't, you know, you, you can't you can't undo a map unless you remake the whole map, which which isn't that hard to do. But Treyarch just then we ain't got no fucking time for that. So anyways, you heard me the first time. M eight A one double nuke by J R Prize Junior Prize. I, I, I don't know the gamer tag. Honestly, I've seen it in the uh, COD TV, but I, I never took a look at it. I don't know what camo. I think that's that uh, Benjamin's Money One, whatever it is, the $100 bills. And that's cool. You know, uh, I've been in the giggly mood right now, you know. So I decided I would transfer my giggles into a funny and, you know, interesting commentary. Which is what brings me to this commentary topic. You know, Ghosts, the review is in two days at 10.30 Pacific, whatever the fucking D is, time. Pacific Daylight Time. There you go. <laughs> fucking beast. That was not fapping. That was... Congratulations. Anyways. So that comes out, and I will critique that like a motherfucker. You all know how much I will hate it, like it. I, I will like it. You know, it's it's the next Call of Duty. It, it is a chance for the five-digit maybe six digit subs to come up hallelujah to that because i mean you got to admit if the next call of duty has a uh, moab i don't orbital station icbm any kind of kill streak that falls on the map that's like 25 something hard to do a gun streak god i hope it's not a tactical nuke then we will be at the forefront of the gameplay and i will be commentating beautiful beautiful i mean come on look at mw3 YouTubers started there and, you know, built up to 50,000 subs. The Somulus, I'm sure Fag Nasty, I'm pretty sure he got at least 100,000 subs. Even though his gameplay was the sad degenerates of society watching it. That's still, you know, he had the gameplay at that time and everybody wanted to watch it. Even uh, Green Goblin. I remember, I, f I was one of his original subs. I've unsubbed by then because I can't stand him and his gameplay is pretty low quality. Anyways, he's one person. You can't, you can't blame him there. But what... It, and his commentaries are pretty one-dimensional. But who, who is my video? My video, not his. Anyways, so what else was I saying here? You know, we I'm going to uh, cover what little information we have from COD Ghosts already. And I'm also going to uh, review this fake perks that these people invented that, that they claim is real. So you're going to hear me making fun of these. These are, oh, if these were in the game, it, it would make MW3 look like a... Look, Look like it had no flaws whatsoever, you know. So let's go. Here we go. Oh, don't forget, leave a like. Ah, I'm funny. Okay, first I'm gonna cover the guns. I'm gonna. I, I've I've covered the guns a, a while ago. I think like uh, three or four weeks ago. But hell, nobody ever watched it. Who who could give two shits? So here we go. Assault rifles. AAC Honey Badger. Now the name hurts me because last video I talked about bees and honey. You know, bees and honey. But there's nothing else to it. I don't know the gun. Although you can see him holding a honey badger in the game. I'm, I'm sure it's a cool gun. Uh, the AAC Blackout PDW or honey badger. Oh, we got another PDW. It is an assault rifle though, so I guess that's a little bit cooler. CZ805. I, the thing about these guns is I don't know them, so I can't really put a, you know, AK-47. That's predictable. That gun in the last MW3 was very powerful, although it had some really uncontrollable recoil. I'm sure if it had toughness, it would have been a very beautiful gun. I would totally bring it to competitive, you know, up close, because that thing, it was one of the few guns that could outpower shotguns and subs and still, you know, stand a chance. Anyways, here we go. 
MTAR, uh, MTAR 21. Uh, how about just TAR 21? So, this was my favorite gun in MW2. I'm glad it's making a return. In this game, it wasn't too pretty. It was like a little circular. It's like somebody took a roll of shitting paper and uh, just put it into a gun form. So, that's not too exciting. But it's still, you know, it's nice. Nice. The FAL is coming back. Hoorah to that. I love the FAL. It's such a cool gun, you know. Hard to use. Takes only about, you know, I think two bullets. Two bullets. Two bullets. Two bullets. Fuck did I stutter there. It only takes about two balls to kill, which that's hard to do. And the I hate phones, people. Anyways, ARX 160. Of all the ARs, couldn't you do the AR-15? One of the most popular guns in Earth. Why don't they? I mean, it's a really brilliant gun. It's sort of like the M4, maybe a little bit higher powered. I'm, a, I, you know, I'm gonna have to breeze through this shit. Let's see. Submachine guns. You got the Vector. That's cute. You got the UMP. Oh boy. UMP is so overpowered. It's always been overpowered. I'm looking forward. I'm not looking forward actually, but you know, this is going to be the comp submachine gun. If it's like it was, you know. Launchers, the APS, I don't know what that is. Oh, special weapons, the APS, the underwater gun, the weird looking one. And uh, the grenade launcher. So that, that's that's it for the guns. Now let's get on to these perks. I don't think I can cover a lot and I didn't even highlight any of the most ridiculous ones. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and make out it. Here we go. Hearing aid. I, I, that might insult some people, so obviously this dipshit, you know. This perk makes it so that you can hear silenced weapons within 20 meters, meters of you. I guess some people have hearing issues and they can't hear the sil suppressed weapons. Anyways, hearing aid pro makes footsteps loud and shows silenced weapons within 25 meters of you. Now that perk sounds really... I'll just blow a dog whistle and guess what? I do neutralize that perk. Huh? <laughs> Whatever. Let's see. In... In... Visible. I guess it's supposedly invisible, but it's invisible. When you're prone, your name tag does not show. And pro, when you're crawling or lay down, your tag does not show. That is retarded. It has no purpose to it. Anyways, support. No, medic makes you replenish health 10% faster. I wish that were a real perk. I've complained tons of times in competitive that my health just doesn't regenerate. I kill the guy, does a little damage to me, spawns next to me, gets the I'm so good type of kill, you know? Because only I had, you know, 75% health. And that's not enough to take the dumbass one burst from the M8. Uh, support kill streaks need one less kill. Support pro. Now listen to this. Make kill streaks last 10 seconds longer. Now I didn't have enough time to finish that entire thing. And I have to branch off this gameplay a little bit more. But if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like the video. Comment. Rate. Embread. And subscribe. So, like I said last video. Do anal. Although... Don't do it in jail. You have no choice. It's whatever.